a small boy, it was generally accepted that by the 21st century, we'd have intelligent talking computers in every office and domestic humanoid robots that would do the washing up for us. Scientists would have overseen and perfected the merger between man and machine. What a load of tosh that was. But don't despair, because I've got some big ideas on how to populate the world with robots. So, I'm off on a quest to find dedicated robo-boffins who share my vision and are working hard to make it happen. If you think the relationship between man and machine peaked with the goblin tease made, I suggest you brace yourself. The world we're about to enter is really rather intriguing and to be honest, quite freaky. Here I am in Chicago, ready to meet a woman who once was blind but can now see thanks to a bionic eye. But before that, a quick reminder of how the human eye works. Visitors to Chicago are often pleasantly surprised to find that cutaway diagrams of significant organs are freely pasted around the city. And here is one that concerns us, the human eyeball. Now pay attention. Light comes in through the pupil here and is focused by the lens here onto the retina at the back of the eyeball. Now the retina is stimulated by light energy and sends signals along the optic nerve to the visual cortex in the brain. And that basically is how we see. I shall leave that with you for a few seconds so that you can revise. First of all, I'm going to drop in on Dr. Alan Chow. He's invented a light-sensitive microchip that can be implanted in to damaged retinas. In a nutshell, he helps the blind to see. Dr. Chow invented the device in his basement, a proper boy's playroom full of model battleships and ancient scientific instruments. I liked him immediately. Right. So the implant itself is two millimeters in diameter. The individual pixels on there are approximately nine microns in size, about three times smaller than the thickness of a human hair. Right, so, and if I could do pi in my head, and this is two millimeters in diameter, I should be able to work out how many of these there are. I would guess roughly mm -hmm. 5,000. Yes, exactly. So you told me earlier. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be impressed with that. <laughs> no one would believe I could have worked that out. If, like me, you don't like eyeball stuff, be brave. The light-sensitive chip is poked through the eyeball and placed within the retina, where the defunct natural photoreceptor cells are. Because in Dr Chow's patients, the other parts of the retina are healthy, it can still convey light information gathered by the chip to the optic nerve and from there onto the brain, helping the patients to see. Well, I'll be right in saying that it, essentially this, this tiny little two millimetre thing is like the sensor in a digital camera covered in the pixels, or pixies as I always call them. When light hits them, they generate electrical currents, very tiny ones of different intensity, and those travel down nerves into the brain, and the brain gives you the picture. That's, that's quite accurate, that's quite accurate. Is, is this a bionic eye? Well, I was just thinking back in the 70s when we all talked about bionic people a lot. Bionic eye would have been a complicated thing implanted in your head and that allowed you to see through a wall and that sort of thing. Is, is this bionic? Is this it... is probably the closest integration of a, uh, of a um, computer chip type device into a human organ. I'll take that as a yes. 
It's now time for Dr Chow to introduce me to Maria Zaccaro, the、I'm... woman with the bionic eye. Ah.、Oh. Horizontal. Maria began to lose her sight in her late twenties. Within years, it had become so bad she could hardly see herself in a mirror. So, rather bravely, she volunteered for Dr. Chow's groundbreaking experiment. What's? This is going to sound like a really facile question, but what did you really like seeing again most of my all? My children. More details、oh, right. on my children's、yeah. faces and my my son playing basketball and、um, color. You so, so you can see, you can see people playing basketball.、Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. And how does it feel to be in one very small part of you, the, the genuine bionic woman, who was a mythical person before, but is now very <laughs> slightly a real one? Well, it's it's good. It's、um, my husband tells everybody I'm the bionic woman. I got a bionic eye worth two million dollars.